Are you gonna sit around? You gonna sit there for another 30 seconds? Maybe another minute, another hour, or maybe start in a few hours. Or better yet, let's kick it off tomorrow. You gonna delay it till tomorrow? Or maybe put it off for another week? Another month? Another year? How much longer are you gonna just sit there and not move your life forward? All the real achievers in this world, they just get going. They start anywhere, at any time, in any place. They start regardless of their pain or whether they're pumped up. Their location doesn't fucking matter. They just begin. And you gotta just take the leap. Just dive into the work. Just get up and move and watch procrastination crumble. If you can't take control of your own brain and it controls you, you're f***ed. You've got control over your mind. You've just got to enforce it. You've got to tell your brain where you want to go and what you want to do. You don't give it an option to slack off. So the next time you're feeling weak or lazy or just not in the mood, remind those feelings they don't get a f***ing say in what you do today. You're gonna remain disciplined, committed, and getting shit done. When that alarm goes off at four or five in the morning and your mind complains, you tell it, this is our new normal. You've gotta command your brain and tell it where you wanna head, why you're doing this, and the way you're gonna make it happen. You don't get better by sitting on the damn couch. You get better by stepping out into the world and giving it everything you've got every fucking day. And everybody will talk about it. Everybody will post about it. Everybody will plan it. But barely anybody is willing to roll up their sleeves and just go get it. Because most people in the world are lazy. They don't want to do things that don't come easy. This daily grind, it's not for the faint-hearted. It's for the tough, the relentless, the ones who look at the impossible and say, that I can do it. It's about pushing past your limits, breaking new ground, and doing the hard sh that everyone else is too scared or too lazy to tackle. You gotta learn to sacrifice, to give up, to go up. It doesn't matter how talented or skilled you are. Without discipline, you're nothing. Why? Because without it, you'll give up at the slightest hint of struggle. You have to force yourself to do the very best you can every time. There are no excuses, no backing down. You must keep moving, keep striving, keep pushing the envelope of what you thought was possible. This is the path if you want to get to the next level. Discipline is about doing the shit you hate, but doing it like you fucking love it. It's your mindset that gets you through the hard times. So you gotta get your fucking ass up. Whether you're tired, exhausted, or just don't feel like working, then you gotta grind. It's all on you. You're in control of your mind, not the other way around. You have to assert your will over your feelings. Because those feelings will never align with your dreams. Beat your feelings into submission. Because when you can beat your feelings into submission, that's exactly what discipline is. When you decide to go after success, you gotta understand, it's not just about enjoying the easy days when the sun's shining and all is going good. No. You gotta be willing to deal with the dark, grimy, nasty days when you don't want to do anything. When you can get to the point where you are able to execute on your mission during these days, you will make it happen. You're signing up for the grind, the late nights, the early mornings. You're committing to the sh that separates the winners from the whiners. So, lace up your boots, tighten your grip, and charge into the battlefield of life like a relentless f***ing warrior. Because let me tell you, success doesn't give a shit about your excuses or half-assed efforts. It rewards those who say, I will conquer this sh no matter what. You can't just dip your toes in. You have to dive in head first and let your dream consume you like a f***ing wildfire. You've got to eat it, breathe it, and sleep with that dream on your mind. While your competitors are sleeping, partying, making excuses, you are working, grinding, making progress, making moves, and making shit happen. It's not enough to just want it. You've got to be all in, pushing through all the hard shit to reach the other side where the best things in life are waiting for you. Nobody wakes up fired up every single day. What makes you successful is your ability to execute whether you're burning with passion or not. That's what discipline is. Doing the shit you don't want to do because you know it has to be done. It's about breaking away from the you 
usual. Shocking your sister. Try getting your ass up at four in the morning one day. Just see what happens. See what happens if you push yourself to work harder than you ever have. Expand yourself and your limits. You have no idea of what you're capable of doing. You need the mentality of an unstoppable machine. One that never accepts anything less than success. It's a mentality that tells the world, you gotta take my life before you can ever take my drive. It's about enduring any level of pain, suffering, discomfort for as long as it can takes. You wanna make your dreams a reality? You wanna rise above the sea of mediocrity that drowns most people's ambitions? Well, you better be ready to put in the kind of work that makes sweat pour, muscles ache, and your mind scream for mercy. You gotta stop half-assing everything. You gotta work like hell and pour everything you got into that thing. And no one's coming to save you. No one's gonna do all this hard for you. You gotta do it all yourself. You gotta prove to yourself and the world what you're able to do. Cause people are gonna underestimate you all the time. So you show them exactly what you can do. You won't have to say one word. Your actions will speak for themselves. Most of the time, we don't have someone there to keep us alive, to make us do push-ups and give us a good swift kick in the ass when we slack off. What we have to do is we have to be our own sergeant to hold the highest standards and allow no slack. Your problem is you start something, you stop it. You start something, you stop it. You feel good, you do it. You don't feel good, you quit. People who do stuff consistently and on time, they surpass people who talented and gifted. When you are a true hunter, you don't go by time, you go by the gazelle. You don't hunt from eight to three, why? Because the gazelle may not be open from eight to three. You hunt until you get a gazelle and you don't stop until you get one. And then you get another, and then you get another, and you get another. Listen to me, a nine to five person, they make a sale and they're excited. When you get to my level and you get one thing, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level, then you try to get to the next level. A true hunter hunts. A true hunter's goal is not the pride. A true hunter's goal is to hunt. That's what they live for. They live to hunt. They don't just live to catch it. It's the whole process. Every decision you make, the decisions you make on Monday, the decisions you make on Tuesday, the decisions you make on Wednesday, if you decide to hit the snooze button, you're 10 minutes away from your goal now. So whatever your goals are, your decisions have to be in alignment with them. Now, if you want to be poor for the rest of your life, keep doing what you're doing. But if you want something different in life, you got to do something different. You got to go all in. And mental toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mountain. I get a kick out the weight. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. It's one thing to talk about your death, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To say no to that party. Saying no to quit when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Saying no when your body said stop, but you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be a boss. Yup, it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be worth the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it.